if you, yeah. you wish something more of me. I have the key to open your cage. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. Does it matter? You can be free. Persuade. <laughs> she agreed to release you into my custody. I stole the key from her. Somehow that seems unlikely. It matters little, however. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the blight. Um, very well. I'll let you out. How can you help exactly? And if I choose to do something else with you? I have spent my life in the vanguard. I know war. And your lands need all the help they can get. All right. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. I uh, guess that will do. And what if I don't lead you to your adamant? Um, thank you. Then I will find it myself. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. All right. Let's go. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I guess. Obviously, I'm going to pick her, him, and Alistair. Why? I mean, the dog doesn't really do that much damage, so I want to see what's the point in having him. Level 6, level 7, level 6, level 5. It's obviously, um, I'm going to pick him. Blast it. Eh, there you go. Oh, wait, nope. Ah, oh, shit, nope. There we go. Her, him, Alistair, and myself. The dog, well, it's not going to be there. He just disappeared. All right, we have our new crew now. What the hell is going on here? Oh, boy. Um, let me see here. I want you to attack him. To you want you to attack um, that guy right there. You to attack him, and I will attack this guy. So be it. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Here again, these guys are gonna get wrecked. There we go. Who? Damn, take that alpha guy. <laughs> that alpha guy got wrecked. You guys are no match for us. Attack! Attack that guy. Hey. No, where the hell am I going? Attack him. Hey. There we go. What's going on here, buddy? Timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Sandal. <laughs> Hello. What the hell type of name is Sandal? Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. I doubt you want to travel with the Grey Warden. Grey Wardens? Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Thanks. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? God damn it! Wait, I wanted to see what else I could talk. I could tell, talk we'll to him all about. As soon as this message, we'll be all, all right. Well, I guess as not. As well, later, Sandal. <laughs> I still can't believe that guy's name is Sandal. <laughs> what the hell? That has blue fire. That dragon has blue fire. That's pretty badass. The hell, my dog's still here? I thought he disappeared. Bad dreams, huh? It seems so real. It must have something I ra I <laughs> Why are you barring me? I'm fine. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the dark spawn. That's what your dream was. Hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde. And we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. The Archdemon, is that a dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. 
I'm not frightened. I screamed like a little girl. Duncan said he thought I had someone in my room. <laughs> not embarrassing at all. <laughs> now, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. God damn it. Alright, I got what the hell that new screenshot. What do you need? Um Do you wanna talk about Duncan? Ah, whatever. I don't wanna to talk to you. Uh where's this guy? Why are we stopping? Never mind, uh, I think we should talk for a moment. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? I need to know I could trust you at my back. I am Kunari. I have given my word to aid you. We are not people of idle promises. Alright, um... No. <laughs> wow, you straight answer no. Uh, no, why not? People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel at poverty. Uh, you said you were in the army. I am. Have you ever fought in the war? I have always fought in war, human. What do you mean by that? My people have been at war since the moment we set foot in the Northern Islands. So... We do now. The enemy is everywhere. The jungle itself. Vipers, hunting cats. Even some of the flowers can kill the unwary. But always there is the Imperium and the Talvashoth. Why are you fighting the Imperium? Because they fight us, of course. The Tevinter want nothing more than our absence. They tell us this with magic and steel and death. I do not see how this matters. Seheron and Parvolan are distant. Ferelden and the Darkspawn are immediate. Are you all right? You were in a cage for weeks. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. Uh, Alright. As you wish. Alrighty. There are those guys over there. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedek, at your service. Once again, I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a grey warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? No. You're free to stay, just mind yourself. Let me um, see your warriors. <laughs> How you been following us? I can see why you might be suspicious, being a Grey Warden and all. Were I in your shoes, I would feel the same way. Trust me when I say that my encountering you here was serendipity and nothing more. I travel a lot, so I'm bound to meet everyone on the road eventually. If you prefer, I'll take my boy and be on my way. But regret. You're the safest spot on this road, without a doubt. Uh, let me see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Alright, let's see what weapons he has. Hello. <laughs> the boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was he now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. What enchantments do he know? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you <laughs> have it. I'm guessing this boy is kind of like special, if you know what I mean. I want some enchanting done. Enchantment. You have no items to enchant. Damn it! <laughs> what a Are waste. You sure, I can't interest you in this hat. A pair of earrings, perhaps. A cheese knife. Hmm. Hmm. I suppose since you told me about you being a grey warden, it's only fitting for me to be as open. I am originally from Orzammar. The famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately Frostback Mountains. I was a merchant there, too. Merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things. Grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. Why are you leave? One day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. 
Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the darkspawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. Nobles, they're touchy like that. Hmm. And did you steal them? <laughs> well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I'd been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for me. The lost tides. They're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. I see. The noblewoman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never look back. Now here you are. Um, you're getting quite lucky to have done so well. Yes, here I am. Now, is there anything the boy or I can get you? Hmm, have you heard any rumors? I hear that Tier Logan, the regent, is calling for new levies of troops. He wants to rebuild the army we lost at Astagar. Thing is, there's not a lot of spare men to be found. Out of Dragon's Peak, there's press gangs roaming around, grabbing any free man they can lay their hands on. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. Hmm. Um. Some folks aren't happy about Tern Logan being named Regent. There are rumors he had something to do with the King's death. Isn't that the most ridiculous thing you ever heard? The Darkspawn killed him, sure enough. If Tern Logan couldn't save the King from that end, then nobody could. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. He did kill him. But where do you... <laughs> where do those guys come from? Look, we... We don't rob people, alright? We don't take things from people that need them. The things in the Lost Tigers, what good did they do lying there? I brought them back to Orzammar, where people could look at them and remember. It's not all that different up here. There are places long abandoned by the humans everywhere. Even more now with the Darkspawn coming. What do you mean? People flee from the Blight with good reason, but they forget things. Things with value and meaning. They leave them behind because they're frightened and desperate. And sometimes, my boy and I, we find our way to these places before the Horde descends, and we save these things. I take them away so the Darkspawn don't get them. Is that so bad? They destroy everything they touch. I suppose it's better than having the dark spawn take it all. That's what I tell myself too.